And now, gentlemen of the jury, I come to my final instruction to you. Murder in the first degree premeditated homicide is the most serious charge tried in our criminal courts. It now becomes your duty to try and separate the facts from the fancy. If there is a reasonable doubt, then you must bring me a verdict of not guilty. In the event you find the accused guilty, the bench will not entertain a recommendation for mercy. The death penalty is mandatory in this case. Dismissed. Hey, you, uh, you want a piece of gum? No thanks, I'm vegan. Okay, gentlemen, do we want to take a preliminary vote, see where we all stand? Alright guys, let's get this ball rolling. I got a hot date with a third base view of the Ripley State. Alright, I will take your votes now. All right. Guilty. 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 Not guilty. 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 Not guilty. Turn it around. Psych, he's guilty. Really? Sorry, I thought it'd be funny. This is supposed to be taken seriously. He's just trying to blow off some steam. Can we address the fact that someone here thinks that this killer is not guilty? Okay. I have a reasonable doubt. Listen, bub. While you were fiddling with yourself in the courtroom, we were presented a case that came to a conclusion faster than my wife when I come home five minutes late. I just don't feel like you gentlemen are analyzing all the evidence. Well, I believe you're the one who's not analyzing all of the evidence. I mean, for example, we'll take the murder weapon. Yeah, Foreman, where is said weapon? Ah, uh, yes, it's right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Goodness gracious. What in the goddamn? Gentlemen, gentlemen, please. This is the murder weapon that was found at the crime scene. A pretty commonly found weapon, wouldn't you say? Um, no, not, not really. Well, look at what I found on the same street, a mile away. Oh, what the hell? Seriously? What in the goddamn? That's it, I'm convinced. He's not guilty. You gotta be kidding me. What is even going on? Well, men, I guess that makes this ten to two. Listen, man, you're riling up all these guys, and you need to think long and hard about what you're doing here. Okay, I'm sorry. I'll try to keep quiet then. What about the train passing by at the time of the murder? What about the train? I swear, you're just trying to sound like a protagonist in a play with all these outrageous claims. What about the old man? Maybe he just wanted to hear the boy, so he could have his claim to fame. He wanted to be heard by someone, anyone. Maybe he just wanted to feel like he could be something in everything. Well, ain't that the dumbest thing I ever heard? Yeah, next thing we know, looks like the kid didn't even mean it when he said I'll kill you. Wait, isn't it really possible that he didn't mean it? Well, I could see how that would be possible, but I don't see how it has anything to do with it. I changed my vote to not guilty. Listen, Pinto, I don't know why you could think he was innocent.
<laughs> Isn't it obvious? Listen here, you racist old man. Guys, we need to focus. We are currently three to nine. We also need to address that the boy came back from the murder weapon. Well, well I, I always thought that was weird. Why, why, why would he go back for it? Yeah, because it wasn't bright enough to remember to take it with him. He wasn't bright enough to get away with murder, either. <laughs> well, that does not make any sense. Why would he come back three hours later when he probably knew police were going to be waiting for him? Can we please get serious in here? There's a man's life at stake here, and you're doodling? This is very important, can we please? I'm changing my vote to not guilty. It doesn't make any sense for him to come back. Great, just great. So now we're eight to four, because Nancy Drew over here decided to stir up the boiling pot. Well, let me ask you this, ball player. How do you think a crippled old man got from one side of his apartment to the other in another 15 seconds? He's right. I don't think even I could do that in 15 seconds. Oh, I'm sure you ran from police officers faster than that. You son of a... <laughs> son of a... G gentlemen, please, c c can we? Guys, come on. Anyways, what I was saying was that the old man had to get up as soon as he heard a thud and make it to the other side of his apartment to the front door in under 15 seconds. Well, why does that sound so far-fetched to you? Well, measure it out. From that here to down there, it's about the length of the man who's apart. You have 15 seconds. All right, I'll even go a little fast. On your marks, get set, go. Forty-two seconds. Huh. Well, I must say that was some pretty damning evidence. I'd say, not guilty. You gotta be kidding me. Well, there's just too much evidence and it gives me a reasonable doubt. There's too much evidence that proves this boy killed his father. Well, let me ask you this. Why do you want the boy to die so bad? Because I'm on this jury and my word could do just that. You're not his executioner. No. But I'm one of them. You're a sadist, you bastard. I should kill you where you stand, right now. Wait, I, I didn't mean that. I think we should take another break before another murder here takes place. Yeah. Okay. We should just quit. What do you mean? We both know this group of men are done with the dirt, so why should we have to compromise? We were chosen to fairly decide what happens to this boy. We have no right just to walk away. Sure we do. You ever heard of a hun jury boy? You're just an angry old man, aren't you? <laughs> Says you. <laughs> Alright, so is everybody present? I'd like to change my vote to guilty. Sorry. Here we go again. Listen, boss, why don't we just call it a hung jury and make everybody happy? But that won't solve anything. Sure it will. It'll mean Ten gets to make it to his Klansman meeting, I can get make it to my ball game, and Sherlock Holmes over here can make it home before supper. You don't care about this boy at all, do you? Listen, I don't know how they do it in your comic country, but here in America, we can call this thing a hung jury. Gentlemen, please, what about the stab wound? What do you mean, it's a stab wound? What will be wrong with it? Well, the entry of the wound doesn't make any sense. Well, sure it does. I'll show you. I'll stab you like the boy did. Right. We'll compare the wounds. Yeah, okay. Hey, I recognize that weapon. I should have no vote to not guilty. What do they even prove? He waved a sword and that convinced you? Calm it down, supremacist. I'm tired of hearing all these fairy tales when I have a ball game to make. Not guilty. That's not okay. You're kidding, right? Unbelievable. No, listen up, you punks. Well, if this kid lives or dies, I still have tickets to a goddamn baseball game tonight. You're pathetic. Whoa, 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 whoa. 
I lost count. Who still thinks he's guilty? You're the ones that are pathetic. Giving a boy like this a chance? We gave him a chance once he entered our society, and he lost that chance once he killed his daddy. It's a goddamn shame, too. He would have made a good landscaper. What's your problem? It's almost like it's almost like you wanted to go free, because you're one of his kind. I'm surprised you haven't tried pickpocketing us already. How did you even get chosen to be put on this jury? Same way you did, old man, and the rest of you. Because we don't know this kid, and we don't know him a thing. We shouldn't even give him the time of our day. I think that's enough talking from you, so why don't you sit there and keep your prejudiced thoughts to yourself? Thank you. Are there any other points that should be brought up? I would actually like to bring up the woman who saw the murder across the street. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. He's guilty. Boy, you were looking more indecisive than a woman looking at- Why don't you shut the hell up? Anyways, the fact the old woman witnessed the murder is pretty undeniable evidence. Well, I'm not sure about that. She wasn't wearing the glasses, was she? Well, just because she didn't have her glasses on doesn't mean she couldn't have seen what was happening. Well, what about you? Can you see without your glasses? Well, sure. I'll show you. Well, maybe she didn't see anything. Well, I mean, I'd like to change my vote. I'd like to also. Y'all are so stupid. Guess I'll change mine if it means getting out of this room. Okay. I suppose that just leaves you left. This kid doesn't deserve justice. He deserves to suffer in the chair. That's not your call to make. That is my call to make. It's why I'm here with the other 11 of you. Yeah, but we're being fair. Fair? You don't know a thing about fair. You know what isn't fair? Being the father of an ungrateful child who would do exactly something like this. You're telling me we should let him get away with it? Yes, because he's not guilty. Fine. He's not guilty. Thank you for your patience, ladies and gentlemen. After close examination from the jury, they have come to a final verdict of the defendant being... Not guilty. Case dismissed.